color traditional attire comprises of four colors black, 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 yellow, black, green, and black, white. Now, one interesting thing about the traditional attire, the Igala people, is that instead of focusing on the nature of the style of the attire, colors are used as a traditional symbol. Nigerian scientists and, of course, further experts studied modern Igala people. And it is believed that the predominant colors of the Igala traditional dresses are black and yellow. The Igala cultural um, traditional attire can also be accompanied with blue, green, and white stripes. According to the areas of the land, the black and yellow colors mean a lot in the history of the Igala people. The black shows the richness of the land. It also symbolizes prosperity and wealth of the Igala people. The yellow color symbolizes hospitality of the tribe and also represents gold as a symbol of prosperity and richness of the tribe. Green and white. Green is a traditional color used not only for the Igala people but for Africa as a whole. Green usually represents harmony and peace and of course white represents purity. Igala Achi is the traditional capital for the Igala people. Women prefer to use low dresses and skirts, while the men prefer to use white pants and t shirts with cow and Igala Achi. The people of Igala are largely found in Kogi state of Nigeria, which is their historical motherland. They are also found in Delta State, Anambra State, and Edo State. Various traditions link the Igbo, Yoruba, and the Bini people of Nigeria, like in time of kingship, method of succession, and royal regalia. The run of blood monarch system of government and the king is called Atta. It's properly known as the Atta Igala. History made us know that the first Atta of Igala was a proud and fearless man who could go any length to protect his people. He sacrificed his beloved also just to bring the great Jukun army to his nail. Destroyed the army of Benin led by the mother of the Oba of Benin and walked away with the head of the masquerade. The people of Igala are well known for the long facial mask, which they adopted from the Yoruba. They also have other masks which they adopt from the Igbo and Benin. The Igala also make themselves tattoos on your left arm. This was mostly used by the women to beautify themselves. And the men are also allowed to put on earrings, including the Atta. The Atta Igala is considered as the representative of the gods and God on earth. Associate of the Supreme Being, he is seen by his people as a protector. Also, I've heard the name Iniqui without really knowing who she is. Here's her story. Long time ago, the Benin Igala Kingdom had a war. No place was safe. Even the streams where people fetch water from was poisoned, so that anybody who used that water would die. Fear beat the Igala people for a long time, so they went ahead to control the oracles, and it said that their victory could not come unless the princess was buried alive. Princess Inikli was the beloved and only daughter of the Atta of Igala, the then Ayemba Omar Idoko, who willingly gave herself to be buried alive. Her father, the Atta of Igala, loved his daughter so much that when he was informed of the only solution to the problem, he wished there was an alternative, but found none. As history recalls, he could not eat nor drink anything for days. The princess noticed how downcast her father was and decided to ask him the reason behind his sadness. He would not tell her, rather, he would tell her folk tales under the moonlight. On the seventh day of her acting, her father told her why she was downcast. Because the war was making him powerless as the leader of and under attack. Princess Inipi did not object. She voluntarily went on the day of the sacrifice to the bank of River Niger, the place where she was buried alive. It was a sad revolution, but the Gala people gave her for a deep.
she was a heroine and a brave one at that. After the sacrifice, the Benins were advancing the Igala Kingdom and saw the whole town in flames. Going back, they noted that they cannot take war on a town that has been cast by fire. But it was the blood of that deceived them. The blood of Iniki is acceded for her. Igala people will not be complete without the very important role Princess Iniki had to play. She was a heroine with great attributes. The story of Iniki is a, is a story of selfless sacrifice. Her statue is located in the heart of the Ida market in Kogi State. It represents an important historic event in the life of the Igala people. Igala are predominantly farmers and we also have hunters, fishermen. Igala musical instruments are gong, drum and tambourine. They are used in times of festivals and rituals.